Yeah. Hi, we're here with Butch Vig. Yeah. Butch, how you doing? You're producing the new Smashing Pumpkins. That's correct, sir. So, uh, how's things going so far? Um, good. Everything is very sublime. We have a lot of sublime tracks that we've worked on so far, and they sound most excellent. And uh, how long have you been at this studio here? We've been here for about a month right now, and I would suspect we'll probably be here about another six weeks to finish. Really? That long? Mm-hmm. Now, why did you choose Atlanta, Georgia? Why this studio here in Atlanta? Uh, we wanted to go someplace we'd never worked before. I've done a lot of work in New York and L.A., and also my studio in Madison, Wisconsin, and we wanted to go to a new city. Mm -hmm. And someplace that was uh, fairly isolated, so there would be not many distractions. Right. What kind of schedules do you guys keep? I know bands are you know, usually working at the wee hours. Uh, what, has it been that way here, like long, long hours? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Uh, we come in around noon or one and work till two, three, four in the morning, something like that, until we drop. Bill, you want to start another one of these with uh, just a click reference on the start? And then do some, do that guitar thing over it? I don't know if that throws them off, though. Do a quick start. So tell me a little something about the Pumpkins. You've worked with them before. Huh? Yeah, I worked with them on, uh, actually the first thing I did was a Sub Pop single. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jonathan called me up from Sub Pop, said, there's this band in Chicago that is awesome and you gotta work with them. What's uh, this button for? I, actually, I never really took any uh, you have no classes. You no schooling or no anything? School. Just I just kind of learned by the seat of my pants, yeah. yeah. Try it. I, and, and then accent the... It's not so much the way you're ending it, but it's the way you're setting it up. It still seems a little weird. Maybe you can go. Like play it like. I'm gonna put a fill here. Okay. Let's take it from right at the top. My nice slow. The first record was very sad. There were a lot of sad songs. This record is very happy. There's a lot of happy songs. The guitars are tuned very happily. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas on the first record, they were tuned very sad. I see. Are there any uh, weird kind of crazy instruments you're using on this record? In the last uh, year and a half or so, Billy's been collecting as many old, outdated fuzz pedals and bizarre guitar effects as possible. He brought down a whole suitcase full here, so we're using a lot of this old MXR stuff and uh, Ibanez and uh, small clones and electro harmonics and all the stuff that a lot of it has to get fixed in order to use it, but it sounds great. We're trying to get as many fucked up sounding guitars as possible for this record. Is this too much bullshit for you to deal with? Guys, guys, how you doing? Manny Chevrolet from Virgin Records. Hi, hey, Manny. How you doing, man? Manny Hi. Chevrolet, Virgin Records. I'm here to interview you guys. So why, we're signed to that label. Are you really? Well, that's why I'm here, probably. I What's hear they're name? distributed by SEMA. SEMA? I don't know anything about that. Hi, oh. Manny Chevrolet. What's your name? Billy. Billy? James. James, how you doing? And Manny Chevrolet, you must be Darcy, right? How you doing? That's, that is Jimmy. Oh, hi Jimmy, how you doing? Jimmy Chevrolet. Jimmy Chevrolet, how you doing? So how you guys doing? All right. Yeah? We're really happy today. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's great. And it's, it's best that you catch us at this time because we're really in a good interview mood. Are you really? Great. Mm -hmm. Well, let, I'll just, I won't take any of your time. Just a few minutes and uh, we'll just pop off some questions. Just don't ask time. anything painful. So I'm here for Virgin. Uh, let's rap. Let's talk, huh? So uh, <laughs> what's the, uh, what's, how's the album coming along? It's going slowly, it's but it's It's a stone coming. jam. A stone jam. How long have you guys been here in the studio recording? A month. About a month now. So what's the name of the new album? It's called Siamese Dream. Siamese Dream. The search for the Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> okay. And when do you think it's going to be out? Uh, we hope to have it out by uh, 94. 94, so then uh, there'll be a tour with it. Yeah. yeah, we'll tour before we finish, though. Oh, I see. Okay. We strongly believe in the three years between albums principle. Mm -hmm. It sounds like a big sellout record. Oh, yeah? It sounds really slick. Slick. Commercial. Slick. That's Commercial. why we got Butch. Butch, Butch yeah. How Butch. do you like working with Butch? Butch Vig, right? He's a star maker. He's a star maker, yeah. That's why we signed a contract for him. Hey, look, yeah. here comes Butch. Oh, oh, so this is the producer guy. Butch and, Butch and the producer. Thanks, and, Butch. And, uh, oh, and the engineer, oh, Jeff. Butch. Oh, yeah, that's great. Hey, say a, some of that water. Say Thank a few you. words for the cameras, Butch. Yeah, you want to... Jeff, I thought you were Butch for a minute, but... Butch has laryngitis. I see. There's a guy back in L.A. named Chief Daryl Gates It looks kind of like that. Anyway, um, uh, Daryl Gates, like, he's this guy. But yeah. Butch. Anyway, uh, sounds great. I mean, what I heard from the outside <laughs> sounds like it's going to be a... Was it too loud for you? Is this still raining? So why don't you tell me a little bit more about Butch? He's changed a lot lately. Now we took this room here and we moved it over here and then we took this here and put that over there. And then we turned it upside down and ran the whole thing backwards. He just doesn't seem like his old self. A little word association, guys. This is something I gotta do. I hope you don't mind. I love uh, this part. Okay. <laughs> De uh, Deja vu. <laughs> Success. Nada. Shotgun. <laughs> Junior Walker. Very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, alternative. Crap. Interview. Lame. James. Yeah. One more thing. What do you think keeps a band together? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go, guys. This is great. Thank you for your time. It's been a hell of a time, really. Thanks, Billy. Thanks, Manny. Thank you, Darcy. James. All right, end of the charade. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
Bye. <laughs> Don't you want to join our special man club? When you spend 16 hours a day, six days a week for four months, you develop a very special arrangement. Well, great. It's, it's like a birthday party here every day. Is there anything else you guys want to show me? How about the door? <laughs> Didn't you have a plane you had to catch? I got a plane to catch. <laughs> Thanks, Billy, for your time, Butch. It's been great. May All right. May the road lead you to a path of excess. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.